Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to be going through a very important upgrade that's going to be happening to the Ethereum network uh, and you probably already know what I'm talking about. Uh, yes, of course, I am talking about the merge. Uh, so I know a lot of you hold Ethereum and so do I. Uh, so if you're an ETH holder or if you're just interested in the crypto space in general, it's very important that you understand uh, the merge because it's going to affect everything. Uh, right? So. Um, before we get into the actual upgrade though, there are a couple terms that you have to understand. Uh, in particular, proof of work and proof of stake. Uh, so in case you don't understand what those are, I'm going to be describing how what they are and how they work. Right. So there are what's called consensus mechanisms. Uh, and a consensus mechanism describes a way that a new block is added to the blockchain. Uh, so proof of work is what Bitcoin uses and is what currently Ethereum uses before the merge upgrade. Uh, so basically, this is synonymous to mining, right? So if you hear mining, I want you to think of proof of work uh, because uh, proof of work is basically when you solve a math problem, uh, which requires a computer to repeatedly guess the answer to. Uh, and you have to have like a lot of computers, preferably, uh, and they're all consuming massive amounts of electricity to try and get uh, the answer in a race to solve this problem. Uh, so if you're the first to solve this problem, then you would get more crypto as a reward. And this is called the block reward. And you get that by adding a block to the blockchain. Uh, so it is called proof of work because it takes a lot of energy, right? So it takes a lot of electricity, i.e. work. Uh, and uh, you have to expend this work uh, before you have a chance at getting the answer to the math problem. Uh, so this is why uh, people who mine crypto, they need to buy a massive amount of GPUs, uh, however many they can find. Uh, and I know that makes a lot of gamers upset, right? Because uh, the current way that Ethereum is mined, uh, it can be done with regular GPUs that uh, people use for, you know, their own personal computers. So, um, you know, if you're trying to find like a, a NVIDIA GTX or RTX uh, 3080 Ti or whatever, and those are all out of stock. Uh, well, for the past year or so, uh, there's been a supply shortage. And part of the reason that there was a supply shortage was because of the crypto boom, right? Because a lot of people bought these GPUs to mine. Uh, and yeah, that's made a lot of um, people who build computers upset. Um, but you'll be glad to find out that uh, what's happening to Ethereum after the merge is that Ethereum will transition to a proof of stake consensus mechanism, uh, which no longer requires mining. Uh, so proof of stake is when you already have tokens, in this case ETH, uh, and you put forth your ETH as collateral in exchange uh, for a chance to become the next validator. Uh, and a validator is someone who uh, confirms and verifies transactions and adds the next block to the blockchain. Uh, now, the more tokens you put forth as that collateral or as your stake, they call it, uh, the higher the chances you have at getting chosen as the next validator. Uh, so the easiest way to think about this is uh, imagine if you're playing poker, right? So uh, you have to put your chips in the center uh, and the more chips you stake, uh, the more chips you win if you win. Right? So it's not exactly a one-to-one -one analogy because there are some slight differences, but it's just an analogy. Okay, So uh, this means that also if you misbehave, uh, meaning that if you try to attack the network uh, or if you try to verify invalid transactions, uh, then part or all of your stake can be taken away. So this is called slashing. Uh, this incentivize or disincentivizes, sorry, uh, the uh, people who are staking uh, from doing anything that try to disrupt the network. Uh, so the merge is all about transitioning Ethereum from proof of work to proof of stake. Uh, now, why is it called the merge? Uh, well, there's already been a proof of stake version of Ethereum that was started back in December of 2020. Uh, and this is called the beacon chain. Uh, so basically it's a parallel blockchain that has been running alongside the Ethereum mainnet or so that whenever you hear mainnet, it means the actual Ethereum chain, right? The main chain. Uh, so it's been running alongside the mainnet. Uh, and the beacon chain was started as a proof of stake uh, chain. So, so it's already proof of stake. Uh, what's going to happen shortly uh, is that uh, the main Ethereum chain is going to be merged with the beacon chain uh, and the consensus mechanism of the main chain is going to switch to the proof of stake uh, consensus mechanism of the beacon chain. 
Uh, so why is this important? Uh, well, after the merge, uh, it is estimated that the new supply of Ether is going to be reduced about 90%. Uh, so some people call this the triple halving, uh, and this is because it's similar to three times the amount of supply impact uh, as a Bitcoin halving. So uh, recall a Bitcoin halving is a mechanism built into Bitcoin where every four years approximately uh, the amount of block reward gets cut in half. Uh, well, uh, a 90% drop in supply, in this case to Ethereum, uh, that's like it, the supply getting halved and halved and halved again, right? So it's like three halvings all at once. So whenever you hear triple halving, it's it's about the merge. So it's not like three separate events. It's all gonna be at once, uh, and it's all gonna be you know happening when the merge happens. Uh, so many people are expecting Ethereum's price to go up because of that. Uh, although what actually happens though is hard to say uh, because it's always hard to predict price movements uh, but also because a lot of people have been staking Ethereum on the Beacon Chain already uh, and those who have previously staked uh, the on the Beacon Chain uh, will be able to unlock their uh, stake after the merge. Not all at once by the way so you don't have to fear that like a massive amount of people is just going to dump their Ether uh, but it will be slowly unlocked step by step. Uh, so that does put downward pressure on ETH as well. Um, so, you know, it has to like you have to work out, you know, or see how the uh, demand matches with the supply. Right. So uh, the supply, the new supply coming in, it is going to be reduced massively. Uh, but at the same time, you'll have people who have staked their ETH on the beacon chain uh, for, you know, years at this point, uh, And they're going to try and uh, unlock it. So. Uh, you know, we'll have to see what the price does. So, you know, it can any it's anybody's guess anything can happen. Right. But um, it recently also some people have been flooding into Ethereum Classic, uh, which is an older version of Ethereum that was a result of a hard fork years ago. Uh, and Ethereum Classic is actually going to stay proof of work. Uh, so it's not going to make the same transition to proof of stake. Uh, so everyone who is mining uh, Ethereum, uh, now that they can't mine anymore, uh, they might switch to Ethereum Classic, right? So we, we don't know for sure, but that's one possibility. Uh, and that's what a lot of people are suggesting. Uh, another alternative might be that uh, some people might try to continue on with a proof of work uh, fork, like yet another fork of Ethereum. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, personally, I don't think that's going to really work out. But um, yeah, anyways, in practice, uh, the Beacon Chain uh, will first go through an upgrade called the Bellatrix upgrade, uh, which will occur sometime on September 6th. Uh, so if you're watching this, it probably already happened uh, or it's just about to happen. Uh, so the mainnet also needs to be prepared for the merge uh, and it's going to be in an upgrade called the Paris upgrade, uh, which will happen sometime shortly after the Bellatrix upgrade. Uh, and the Paris upgrade is going to uh, set a threshold for mining, which uh, at a certain point, mining no longer becomes like possible uh, on the Ethereum mainnet. So that's when it really kicks in. And then that's when the actual merge uh, is expected to happen. Uh, so the actual merge is expected to happen sometime between September 10th and September 20th. Uh, the reason why there's such a big range is because uh, all these upgrades are scheduled for a certain block height, like a certain point on the blockchain, uh, which is dependent on how fast each block gets generated and confirmed. Uh, and this can vary, right? So we, we don't have an exact date because it's by a certain block time. Uh, but anyways, uh, fingers crossed that this goes well because this is indeed one of the biggest uh, and most difficult things that the crypto industry has ever done. Uh, so we got some of the uh, world's smartest programmers working on this. Uh, however, this is like changing the wings on a plane uh, while it's in flight. So it's not an easy task by any means. Uh, so in terms of implications, uh, if you are an ETH holder, there's nothing you need to do besides just continuing to hold ETH. Uh, so don't believe anyone who says that you need to send your ETH somewhere to get it upgraded. Uh, those are all scams. Uh, scammers are trying to take advantage of this situation. So please don't get scammed. Uh, just you don't have to do anything to reiterate. Just hold on to your ETH uh, if you plan on holding on to it, if you don't plan on selling, right? So anyways, I'm going to leave the video here. Hope that was all clear. If you like the content, be sure to give this video a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you find this content interesting. Uh, also leave links down below for my Twitter and Instagram if you want to give me a follow. Uh, and yeah, with that being said, 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.